Hello, adventurers and adventure leaders. Happy 32nd anniversary. We are now celebrating the World Adventure Day with the theme, I will go. Today, we are going to talk about philosophy and objectives, pledge and law, our progressive classes and the four base areas, and the meaning behind the symbols of the new logo of the Adventure Club. My name is Louis de Assis, and I'm from Elo SA Church. So, let's start off. Let's get it on. The Adventure Ministry has been created to assist parents in their important responsibilities as child's primary teachers and evangelizers. The program aims to strengthen the parent-child relationship and to further the child's development in spiritual, physical, mental and social areas. Through the adventure ministry, the church, home and school can, can work together with a parent to develop a mature, happy child. Our former logo, the one on the left, just had all their classes on it, but it's now upgraded by the General Conference into a more Christ-centered one. Each symbol has a meaning. The first symbol is Family. The Adventure Ministry is designed to strengthen the family, a journey where parents and children actively follow Jesus together. The Cross. In the Adventure Ministry, Jesus is the center. The cross at the center means that Jesus should be the core of the adventurous life. Nature. The Adventure Ministry recognizes God through His creation. Parents and children engage with nature to learn more about Jesus. Blue represents heaven. Blue is the color of the sky and a reminder of the heavenly realm. Scarlet in the Bible represents blood and redemption. The life of man is in the blood. Leviticus 17, 11. And Christ's blood atonement is necessary for the redemption of man. Green represents growing and blooming where one is planted. It is representative of a Christian life that produces good fruit and finds rest in Christ. White represents righteousness because of its purity of color and light. It points to the righteous one and the righteousness he imputes to all who come to him in faith. Now let's go to our progressive classes. Uh, the, lately, the General Conference has changed the eager beaver into the early birds. So, so here are the new ones. Little lamb, early birds, busy bee, sunbeam, builder, and helping hand. At each step of the adventurous experience, they will learn new things that, will, that enhance their growth. Our progressive classes are based in four areas. My God, to learn about God's love for each one of us, trusting that the Bible is an important part, and to spend time learning about Jesus' message to us. Myself, discovering and appreciate the uniqueness and value of each person, to encourage Christian values, making good choices, and serving others, focusing on God's guidelines for fitness, temperance, and hygiene. My family, Exploring the uniqueness of the family and learn about responsibilities, respect, appreciation, safety, and stewardship. My world, learning to be a good friend and value people who are different from them, experience nature and develop an appreciation on the environment focusing on courtesy, prejudice, peer pressure, and how to serve other people. The Adventure Pledge is an oath that we stand by and try to exemplify, not only when we come to our meetings, but throughout our daily activities. It states, because Jesus loves me, I will always do my best. This pledge correlates closely with our law, which states, Jesus can help me to be obedient. I will obey God's law and cheerfully do what my parents and teachers ask me to do. I will obey the laws of my, my country. Be pure. My body is the temple of God. 
so I want to keep it clean. I will not swear, smoke, drink alcohol, do drugs, or do any other thing God says is not good. Be true. I will always tell the truth and never try to deceive even if I may get in trouble for it. Be kind. I will look for ways to make other people happy. I will never hurt a person or animal intentionally. I will share my toys too. Be respectful. I will be courteous to those whom God put in authority over me, like parents and teachers, and to those who are younger and weaker than me, like brothers and sisters. I will take good care of other people's property, even something as small as a borrowed pencil. Be attentive. I will listen when someone is talking to me at home, at school, and at church. I will especially listen for God to tell me what to do with my life. Be helpful. I will look for ways to help and not wait to be asked. I can help family at home, teachers and friends at school, and others in my community. I can even help God. Be cheerful. I will not grumble or complain when I don't get my way or when I have work to do. I will remember that God made me. Knowing that makes me happy. Be thoughtful. I will make courtesy a habit, both in words and actions. I will look for ways to be nice to people, and I will not be rude or irritating. Be reverent. I will listen carefully to God, His Word, and His messengers. I will take good care of my Bible and church property. I will never make fun of holy things. Now this is our conference patch. That is the design of a spider. Now let's go to our philosophy and objectives. Let's start off with objectives. The Adventure Club provides fun and creative ways for children. One, to develop a Christ-like character. Two, to experience the joy and satisfaction of doing things well. Three, to express their love for Jesus in a natural way. Four, to learn good sportsmanship and strengthen their ability to get along with others. Five, to discover their God-given abilities and to learn how to use them to benefit self and serve others. Six, to discover God's world. Seven, to improve their understanding of what makes family strong. And eight, to develop parental support for the training of children. For our philosophy, the Adventure Club is a Seventh-day Adventist church-sponsored ministry open to all children ages 4 to 9, in which the church, home, and school join together to help children grow joyfully in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. The Adventure Club is offered to assist parents in making the development of their child richer and more meaningful. For more info, please visit our website at www.nocsda.weebly.com. Thank you for listening and God bless.